What's up, y'all? We are, uh, hey, I don't get much time off, so when I do, I knock a lot of these out at once, and I'm going to keep right on brawling with old JJ, bringing it home. We're going to hop on over here. This one, power in the blood, like, it's got a lot more rock feel to it, so this, I've been jamming in the gym since it came out. It, it, I mean, the whole album sounds amazing on the sound system and the Duramax. Shout out Creek Squad. It was in Nashville. Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let, let's go ahead and... Uh... Lucifer, buddy, he loved me. Because we hardly ever even disagree. I lived like hell, ran like the wind. Said I didn't need Jesus, but I always did. Oh, there's power in his blood. Oh, there's power in his blood. Thought that devil was my best friend. Until all them hard times started rolling in. <laughs> and uh, guess what? Satan will, he, he will let you get away with so much because that gets you closer to him. So y'all just keep that in mind to those people that, oh, I've never really needed Jesus. I've just kind of went through life and I got a good house, good family and this and that. Yeah, because you're getting away from Jesus. You, he, you're getting closer to Satan and non-believing and leading your children as non-believers. And, and then they're lost and don't have anybody to turn to because ultimately the man of the house is this flesh and broken just like everybody on this planet and they're going to fall and they ain't going to have nobody to hold on to and help them back up because they're trying to do everything themselves when it's Jesus is who we need and that's how you really take control of how to lead a family how to lead a company, a boss, co-workers, everybody that is in your direct life to, uh, on a daily basis, it needs to radiate through the generations below us because as you can tell, the generations are a little lost right about now, so we need the power of the blood of the crucifixion to blaze. Stole my joy and he stole my peace Tried to brand my soul with the mark of the beast. But there's power in his blood. Oh, there's power Turn that up. in his blood. Make a dead man climb up out the mud. Yeah, there's power in his blood. I was off the rail. Man, preach it, brother. Preach it, because if there was anybody lost, it would be me. For those that's tuning in, just stumbling upon me. I'm a six-time felon, been to jail in prison, was a car thief, needle junkie, you freaking name it. I was that piece of shit. I'm now 16 years sober, and every single day you see me breathing, I'm proof that Jesus Christ is alive, exists, and does miracles every single day. And I was broken, I was so ashamed When he said call upon my name Yeah, there's power in my blood Oh, there's power in my blood And I cried out, I said, Jesus, please Don't let the dead Hey, I I love I love the whole album. I do, but this one has a lot more rock feel to it. And I know the title of the album is called "The Good Old Boy Gospel." I get it, but this one, I just I just 
love me a guitar, so I I, lo I love the. I love the layout of this song. This is my favorite song on the album. Uh, it, it, they're, they're all amazing. I don't really skip past many of them because once you're in the groove, you just hit play from the get. I'll probably listen to it. I got church here in a couple hours because the Sunday night at 6 p.m., a lot of youngsters in there and they get crazy on the worship on Sunday evenings and we'll be jamming this the whole way. Lord, I confess, help me get out of all this mess. I know there's power in Jesus' blood. I need that power that's in your blood. Come on, make this dead man climb up out the mud. Oh, there's power in his blood. Yeah, Can't ride it. You can't ride it. You just live it. picture just like a a guitar for the visualizer or for, for the video I mean and just bam, and just like lightning bolts like shooting out of the end of the guitar like with a da -da -da, just blasting like the evil back in the hill I just I, I I love that freaking song. I really do. Uh, and, and I mean, like I, I like I said, that that's JJ. The dude can play. He knows music. And like, what what is there to break down for the non-believers and the scoffers? That's fine. That's cool. Let's hop on a panel and we'll we'll have a discussion. And but the open mind is the best part and for the believers out there we already know what the deal is and how awesome it is to see somebody with as big as voice as him not vocally but, but like the following of the people of him to use it to spread the gospel because here's the deal let's say you just you go to church, you go to work, you go home, you live your life. That's fine. Satan don't really care about that. Whenever you start spreading the news of Jesus Christ, and you start spreading what he did in your life, and getting other people to start believing, oh, Satan don't want that. That, that's his biggest threat right there. Is somebody like him using their voice and again I mean the people he reaches to spread the good news that's that's living right there that is living right there all right y'all uh, I yeah oh how like how do you even cook like I love y'all and keep spreading the good news all right, y'all.